Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope. Actually, it's going to be love, wealth, and health for mid-May. And thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings. All right, so we're going to talk about, let me move this out of the way. We're gonna talk about love, wealth, and health. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's gonna happen my Virgo's romantic love life for now until the end of May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so Virgo, let's take a look what's going on in the current. Whoa, there's an offer of love coming in. Ace of Cups energy. Oh my God, the Sun card, the Knight of Cups. The Four of Swords, okay? The King of Swords, Four of Wands, and the influence is Seven of Wands. There's a person who really wants to defend their position. They do feel like they have the higher ground here, okay? They really want this with Seven of Wands energy. There is this offer of love, this opportunity of love. Could be new love, Ace of Cups energy. We're gonna have to clarify to see. But we see in the focus right now, Spirit is saying that there are some being there for somebody, you know, helping somebody out. Knight of Cups energy is a sense of romance here, is the focus right now. And we see that in the past, there was this person that kept thinking about you, contemplating the situation. There was a lot of thoughts going on about it. And we look at it, it, I feel like this is the person that's offering this love here with the Ace of Cups energy. The block, it seems to be, it's like, uh, politics, you know, uh, trying to be logical about the situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, so let's keep going. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Swords. Let's see what that's about. Okay. So the bottom of the deck, there's some kind of communication coming in, okay? So for some of you, there may be a lack of communication right now, okay, with the King of Swords coming out, okay? Because we see communication is the overall energy. And we see that there's been some stress and anxiety about some potential, um, you know, abundance, love, uh, starting a family for some of you, and this huge offer and this trapped energy and this confusion, okay? So let's go further on this. Virgo. What's gonna have my Virgo's romantic love life? Now until the end of May, show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we see there's an offer coming in, Ace of Cups energy. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. This is the current right now. So if this hasn't come in yet, it's, gonna, it's about to come in, the Ace of Cups energy. We see Seven of Wands. There's a lot of overanalyzed, a lot of thinking, contemplating, wanting to defend the position, okay? Feeling like they have the higher ground here. Looks like somebody's coming at this situation pretty heavy here. And we see your advice is to focus on a happy home, the solid foundation for Wands energy. Okay, so let's keep going. So some of you, this person seeing you as marriage material, okay, with that wife card energy, or there's some kind of obligation that has been created that's bringing this offer of love in, Ace of Cups energy, okay? We see that this romantic situation here is very hopeful here with Knight of Cups energy. There's a hopeful energy in your romantic love life, Virgo. In the past, there was a lot of planning, thinking, contemplating about money and finance, okay, or this person you may work with, or there's something involving money around this situation. We see the King of Swords energy shows us that the blockage is socializing, okay, this can be restaurants, this can be going out, having a good time, and uh, needing to play politics, needing to, to use logic and think about this situation and, you know, play politics here. Could be other people involved in the situation, okay, as the blockage. It looks like uh, there is gonna be a sigh of relief for you guys. So we see there's gonna be a happy home, a celebration that they may be suggesting with the Four of Wands energy. Um, also, the sigh of relief is saying, hey, look, something's gonna happen in a situation where you're gonna be relieved, okay? So we see the influence is somebody who's getting some kind of advice, okay, that could be you, could be that your love interest, okay? They're gaining some kind of professional advice or this could happen because of going somewhere, okay, so let's talk about what this, this card can mean, okay, as the influence when it comes to love. So it could be a doctor, it could be a lawyer, it could be a dentist, it could be a professional that you're going to, okay? 
and uh, it looks like there may be a situation that's going to arise out of that, okay? Um, for some of you, okay? For others of you, uh, it looks like you're getting some kind of advice because um, it looks like family members or people are trying to, to, to kind of criticize a connection here and it's like there's a need to defend a position here. Seven of Wands as the influence. So let's get more information. So what's going on in my Virgo's romantic love life for now until the end of May? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so coming in here, it looks like you are cutting away unhealthy things from the past. Okay, we see the focus right now is on healing and st staying hopeful about your situation. Okay, when it comes to these romantic gestures. It looks like in the past there was an effort that was made because of money and thinking, contemplating and planning going on. So there is a lack of hope right now. You guys are lacking hope here. That's part of the blockage. The advice, single and available to pursue or giving yourself some time alone and really thinking about the happy home, the solid foundation or building a solid foundation here. Your advice or excuse me, your influence is saying things are about to go in your favor, okay? So if you guys are already in a committed situation, okay, a marriage, and it looks like there's a, an opportunity of love coming in here, Ace of Cups energy. So it looks like it's suggesting single and available to pursue, okay? And a sigh of relief and a potential solid foundation being built there, okay? For others of you, uh, this person's gonna be single and available to pursue. You're gonna be relieved because there's gonna be a solid foundation being built around this situation, okay? Because we see at the bottom of the deck, there's something to do with the commitment, engage your marriage, and something very shocking about wanting to be more than just friends, okay? so. Let's go further on this. So what's gonna happen here, Virgo? So you guys are very attractive. Let's talk about the potential signs here. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there is this love and devotion going on and there's a person that really, really is trying to get your attention, okay? I feel like this is, this is your energy here, Virgo. You're kind of looking away, you're not noticing. Both cars, I feel like both people aren't looking at each other, okay? But I feel like it's right there, okay? So you're going to have a victory here. There is someone who really wants to have love and devotion towards you and get your attention. And then things are gonna to start to align in your favor, okay? So we see there's a power move that's gonna be made because of faithfulness and a romance going on there, because that's the romance card, or there's a person that's gonna be single and available to pursue, okay? There is some, still some confusion here and some regrets about what happened in the past, but there is an obsessive energy towards you, okay? So there's regrets about these, or someone's definitely feeling regretful that they didn't connect with you sooner, okay? And they are obsessive about this, and that's why they're gonna try to make a power move by making these romantic gestures towards you. They definitely want love and devotion. So it's gonna be a, a sudden action that's gonna be taken here with the Knight of Swords energy to relive something or reunite with you, reunite with you. I'm not saying this is an ex, it could be, because we see the regrets card and we see the reunion card, okay? But there's gonna be, it, it may not be, it may just be a per person who a friend who was trying to get your attention before, but there was a sense of confusion around the connection and now they're coming in again, okay? So we see, they have uncertainty, where do I stand with Virgo? Do they have you know, feelings for me? Because I don't know where they stand. So they're gonna make an action towards you, a swift, sudden action, because they wanna get clarity here. And we see Page of Pentacles talks about good news coming in, good news. Big changes for you guys. Mm -hmm. And we see there's potential for family long-term commitment. You're getting some kind of answers or clarity here, Virgo. Okay, and it's going to shock and surprise you with the tower card energy. This clarity is going to shock and surprise you. Why? Because they're making the decision here. Uh, and we see that this person could be single and available to pursue. Okay, and there is strong attraction here. Queen of Wands energy. Okay, so we see what's that about? New love. Ace of Cups energy, an offer of love coming in. Ace of Cups energy. And for some of you, I feel like. This shocking surprise is because of love and new love and an opportunity of true love, Ace of Cups energy. But I feel like for some of you, this isn't an ex. This is somebody that you had connected with before, but it was kind of like a friend, okay, that's gonna turn more into more than a friend. 
they were a bit obsessive about you. They've been watching you and trying to get your attention. They've been devo devoted to you. You know, they haven't told you about it, but they had a lot of regrets that they didn't pursue this. Now it looks like they're going to try to pursue this. Okay. So let's see what the, because it's like the sigh of relief, a happy home. Some, some of you guys are going to some kind of celebration and you're going to realize this person's single and available to pursue. Okay. Or they're going to tell you I'm single and available to pursue. So we see this potential here for you guys is very happy. Okay. Positive energy surrounds you. A favorable outcome is assured. We see the wedding card. So this person potentially can move into a marriage situation. All right. So we see sun card, complete happiness. Luck is on your side. Virgo. Oh my God, Virgo. You know, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Okay. You got some big changes coming in for you guys. This seems to be the theme for this month for some reason, even when I did the monthlies, which you guys can check out for more information if you want, but definitely seems to be a theme, like big changes, big, big changes happening this month. Okay, so let's move this out of the way, Virgo, and let's take a look at your career and finance here. Okay, so. What's going to have my Virgo's career and finance for now until the end of May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Oops. Two. See. Okay, so let's see what's going on, Virgo. In the current Virgo, it looks like some of you are forming some kind of partnership, okay, with the lover's card energy, or you're taking on some help from someone, okay? Or you guys are... are getting involved with some kind of commitment or contract. Okay. Cause that also can be the lovers. All right. So we see, yeah, focus right now is a foundation. You guys have a solid foundation, a celebration here for wands energy. Okay. Uh, but definitely something solid definitely, uh, is going on here in the past. You definitely were in a situation where it, it just was troubling to you and it just it didn't seem like things were working out right. Okay. But we see that timing isn't really here as of yet. So there's still some stuff that's going to be aligning for you guys. Okay. With the wheel of fortune card. And we see the advice is exploring new things. Okay. Potential passions, creative te creative endeavors there with the page of wands energy. And by the way, guys, nine of cups for the influence, you're getting what you want here. Okay. You're going to fulfill your desires here. That's the influence in your career in finance. That's really good. Okay, we got the strength card energy, we got the knight of swords, and we got the ten of swords. We got the hermit card, excuse me, hierophant card energy, we got the temperance card energy, and oh my goodness, we got the emperor. Really good. Guys are getting some kind of recognition, some kind of fame, some kind of notoriety here with the six of wands energy. Could be coming from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy or because you made a good decision here towards a potential opportunity. It looks like you're getting some kind of good news in the overall energy, but you're a little bit cautious because you're still kind of feeling like you're a little bit trapped in that energy, which is causing a little bit of confusion. Okay, but let's go further here, Virgo. Is that my Virgo's career in finance for now until the end of May? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. See, so we got the lover's card. Yeah, there's definitely a situation where you're like, yeah, I'm loyal to this. I'm faithful to this situation. Okay. Oh man, this is good because this is actually something that's forming. It's, it's a solid foundation. It's something you really love. Okay. Yeah. In the, per, in the, in the past, it looks like you had to take charge of things. You had to organize things. You had to take charge of things. You had to get things together there. You're still kind of like reeling about what happened to you before. It looks like as part of the blockage. All right. All right. So you're not going to lose anything if you explore other options there, Virgo. Okay. Cause that's the advice. We see the loss it, loss here and page of wands talks about looking at new things, exploring new things, you know, potential creativity, potential things that you may want to have pursued, but you're not going to lose anything if you pursue those things. Okay. So the influence is what you want here and concerns about, you know, being in a desperate situation. Okay. So I would say, come back to your advice here. Your advice is saying, look, um, you're not going to lose any, any sleep over just looking into new things, exploring other things. 
the reason why you're in, you know, in this, this sense of despair about the situation is because you're still reeling over stuff that happened to you before and you kind of felt like before it wasn't the right time and it wasn't aligning for you and that luck wasn't on your side. So that's the blockage. But believe me, things are coming together for you guys. We see that you guys are gaining the strength, the courage, and the confidence here to take an action, a swift action, Knight of Swords energy. And this action is actually going to help you overcome uh, some, some tough things in your situation. It's going to complete it, finally. We see changes, big changes. We see a person card. And there's a lot to celebrate here, okay? It's a huge celebration here. And we see the Hierophant, a commitment, a contract. And we see that's going to bring healing to your situation and you're going to be an authority here, okay, with the Emperor card energy. Now, some of you guys are going to be your own boss. You're going to take a leadership role. You're going to make a power move here, okay? We see there's someone of service here, okay, or you're going to be of service to someone towards some kind of commitment or contract. It's going to be a huge change for you. We got the Tower card coming out, okay? It's a real shock, okay? You're, you're not going to be expecting this. This is a real shock. And it's, it's going to be a good shock because we got the pleasure seeking card after that. And we see that there is a lot of transactions being taken place here. And what's the potential? What's the potential here? Okay, the potential is good. It's showing me that nine of pentacles, Virgo, you're going to have more than enough here, more than enough to do whatever you want to do with the nine of pentacles energy. Okay. More than enough money, money. And you're going to get some kind of, uh, money on top of you, you're going to get some kind of gifts, okay, you're going to receive some kind of appreciation, okay, but you're going to have more than enough money, Nine of Pentacles tells me, and Nine is also the number of fulfillment of desires. Okay, my beautiful Virgos, let's move into your health and wellness. Can I have some advice for my Virgos, health and wellness here? Show my cards you to see, okay. Obviously, you just wanted to jump out for me, Spirit, okay. So, understand that the power of prayer helps, Virgo. So, dear God, Archangel Raphael, thank you for having the answers to my prayers, okay? And also, for you guys, it's about detoxing your body. Something that you're doing, guys, something you're doing, something you're eating, something you're doing, um, this month, maybe you should try to uh, see if you can eliminate that or try work, working on detoxifying. And also, accept that your situation is going to be okay, okay? All right, my beautiful Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another date or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys 